Hello everyone, it's time for the grand finals of the monthly checkup, and I have a bit of a surprise, seeing as he's conveniently available now. Um, we're gonna do some live commentary over the grand finals for you, and by we I mean myself and my good friend Swong. Swong, how the heck are you? It's a pleasure to be back on here. Oh, man, I'm, I'm doing great. A little, uh, I'm trying to bandage the wounds that Adelito and Pam and Richard gave to me, but you know, that's why they're in the finals and I'm in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm not gonna, let's keep this uh, any further than it has to go. So I'm gonna get give the players the start to signal here. And we will be on our way very shortly between these two. So you had the chance to play against both of these players uh, in the bracket. Um, what would you say is, uh, did you notice any difference in terms of playing against them, in terms of play style or in terms of difficulty, anything like that? Yeah, you know, uh, versus the, some people speculate it's kind of a giant rock, paper, scissors match. And, you know, you have heavy combo, you have speed, and it's a matter of who can execute it quicker. Um, Adelito's definitely the top ranked speed player in the world with 0 to 20 and a 0 to 10. So he has that going on. Pam and Richard really has put a name and a title to himself as he won the Virus Cluster League in July. So he's no stranger to the finals and he is here. And you can see, I mean, both these players just play really excellently, really quickly and just know how to be flexible when they need to. Oh yeah, these two guys are world-class, absolutely. Um, I, it, I almost feel privileged. I feel like the only time you get to see some of these players play versus is in the monthly checkup. <laughs> So, I, I, you don't get to see these matches very, between these players very often, so it's really, uh, it's really nice to be able to get these two in combat together and have it streamed for everyone to watch. Yeah, it's a treat getting it scheduled out. I mean, I know a lot of, uh, not a lot of us in Adelito, he's, he's playing from Turk in, in Turkey right now, and uh, it's right around, I believe, 5 o'clock, 5 a.m. right now, but he woke up at 3 a.m. just to participate in this and, you know, having the camaraderie and the battles between, well, this point is totally international with Adelito hailing from Turkey and Pandan Richard from Canada, so you couldn't ask for a more international finals here. But yeah. uh, as we take a look over there, Pandan Richard with a one virus... <laughs> Uh, leaving that, but look at his setup there, dropping everything down, and wow, they both had some fantastic, just a staircase of viruses being exploding on the board right there. Mm -hmm. I have noticed that uh, whenever, um, especially in your games against both of these players, uh, the games ended up having you both at near the top half of the bottle a lot longer than you would have expected to see, and than you would see in most matches. Uh, that's pretty unusual but i feel like that's sort of what you what you're gonna find in high level play and it's just not too many players are there yet at that level would you does that does this make sense to you <laughs> yeah yeah totally i i think there's a little bit you know we have to we have to always look at kind of the 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 mid the the, the mid i'm sorry the beginning game the mid game and the end game and those are the three uh positions that these players are in and then whether or not these players are in parity, behind, or uh, ahead. And that's going to ultimately dictate, I think, what's going to, what their decision making is going to be. Panman with a superb drop there. But I think the name of the game at this point um, is to do rapid fire combos, continue to lock them, especially towards the end game, uh, to really stifle the opponent's uh, plays and really make sure they get stun locked with combos. But uh, right now they're at mid game, and so it's a little too soon to say that it is at the end game right now. Mm -hmm. And both players are roughly at the same height of the bottle here, um, and also roughly at the same virus count as well. And if it's anything like the matches we've seen up to this point, we can expect to see them probably tread water at this height until uh, an eventual top out. Uh, it seems like most of the games uh, that you were playing against them ended that way, one way or the other. Um, and it wasn't the kind of top out win where one person's quickly overwhelmed and, and just instantly tops out within the first minute or two. Um, these were long, grindy games that only ended up in a top out eventually. Yeah, most definitely. It's really just a mental game at that point there, you know, it's really a, almost like a game of chess where you're trying to see if the other player is going to crack before you do, and if you do, is that uh, misdrop going to lead into other misdrops there. But it looks like both players are keeping a little, a little concerned that Pandan has that third column opened up, and it's going to allow for a lot of drop time there, whereas uh, Adley has a nice flat board, so his, uh, when he does get garbage rain down on him, it's going to be a lot less of a uh, problem since half his board is already, you know, covered up with that uh, gap in the bottom there. But as we say that there, uh, both players are really neck and neck, but I do like uh, Adelio's board. It looks like a little bit more manageable. Here's he drops down with a huge cross into a horizontal window cross. 
<laughs> Both players have such uh, intricate setups and are getting these wild combos that seem incredibly dangerous to me, but they're both pulling them off and, and it's 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 difficult to follow at all, to be honest, <laughs> between the two of them at the same time. I, uh, you know, as soon as one person's pulling something off, the other person is, all, is a totally different setup, um, equally as impressive going on on the other side of the screen. It's crazy. Yeah, and you take a look at Adelia's board, he had a horizontal setup all ready and go, and it looks like both these players are playing this board extremely horizontally. I think horizontals, in by the nature of the horizontal, when you get these clears, almost by default, you'll able, you're able to get a couple, uh, not just a one or two virus clear, but you're able to get a series of at least three or four, um, for the most part there, I think, if we're looking at averages like that. Panman has a little bit of a missed drop there, I think he wanted to drop that down, but he's going to try and clear that up. As he does that, he does have some setups down. That garbage is helpful. It's going to drop everything down and allow for it to have a more manageable board. Mm -hmm. It looks like Adelita's slightly ahead, not, if not on virus count, then by just height of the board here and overall board health. Uh, but it's the, the pace of the game is so quick that between these two that it's hard to to really. Oh, oh, okay, never. I... As I say that, uh, I think the speed may have gotten oh. to Adelito, and he's going to top out early. That's going to be game one to pick wow. as we go into the next one. Wow. And, you know, Versus is interesting, too, because you don't have the animation of Dr. Mario flinging pills into the bottle here. So it's it's almost a quicker game at that point there. Panman with an opener of a four-drop combo. That's a really excellent <laughs> ski. He's going to do a lot of damage on Adelito's board. I was going to say, what a first blood to get on your opponent. That was just like... He just went for it right at the start, no fear. It's one of those things where you gotta ask yourself if these players are doing it for the swag factor, or if they're trying to really, you know, stifle the opponents, stifle the mind of the opponents here. And it's kind of maybe a little bit of both. If you get a really awesome combo as your first opener, it kind of sets the tone and, you know, kind of mostly derails you. Like, oh wow, like I got hit with a four combo right there. That's that's pretty big, so. Pan Man Richard sticking to his guns here. He is down by six, but he has setups upon setups ready to go. A little bit of a chasm, but I do I do like that red yellow stacked in that eighth column. He's gonna be able to do some damage as he gets a blue. Yeah, I find like Pan Man setups are so dangerous because if they don't work out or garbage falls in just the right place, it sort of puts him in these situations where he's at the top of the board, whereas Adelito is uh, making his way deeper into this board and closer to maybe winning by virus count. Um, it did happen against, uh, actually, I feel like, did these guys, did these guys play earlier in the bracket? I, was it them that were playing? No, it was, yeah, they played in the, the, the semis, and that was the game where Panbin, uh, locked out Adelito on his last virus for about 30 seconds before beating yeah. him. Um, Adelito that was, tops it again. Oh, so another ben top out by Adelito. Wow. Yeah, so just a reminder, <laughs> uh, if, uh, if since Adelito's in the winner's bracket here and hasn't lost yet, if Penman takes this, we are going to be resetting the bracket and playing another best of three crowns. Um, whereas Adelito, if he can pull off the reverse sweep, uh, he will be the champion, so we'll see what happens here in a moment. Wow, Panman taking all the stress from all of his opponents and really just... Uh making everything so effortlessly as far as his clears go. He's been able to take every little bit of it and really capitalize on the uh, early moments of the game for Adelito here. Pan Ban clearing that up there I think is a smart play to do. He's a little stifled in that corner. I think he's going to try and oof, tuck that in and that's what he does there. Oh, and another quick top, <laughs> top out from Adelito. Or Ooh. from Pan Ban Richard. That's going to be a game for Adelito. As they are right off again, they just they they don't hesitate on the the windscreen for very long, do they? They just get right back into it, instant rematch. On to the next one. Yeah, that's that. I, I I'm personally I kind of for myself I I prefer just waiting a bit, kind of give it a little bit of a breather, regardless of the outcome. I think it's you know kind of keeps your composure with that because you can really you know as as a lot of the commentators might like to say with other aspects of this game misdrops lead to misdrops in this case garbage can really lead to a lot of other garbage here but as we say that uh pan ban probably i think he's gonna maybe possibly no he is gonna clear that out i was thinking he's gonna try and turn that into gold but i think it's a wow. smart play misses the sweet tea though yeah, Adelito is going to make a really nice, uh, just a safe play on the left side to bring his board down as he stacks it up again for another setup. But he will get it, and uh, making an L on top of that, and suddenly Pen Pen Richard's board is looking very dangerous. Not many setups to speak of. And he might top out again! No! He gets a clear! 
but it's still Ooh, it's still dicey. Wow. <laughs> Playing dangerously high. I think he is gonna. He is. Oh wow! There we go. I was gonna say he managed to clear that up horizontally. He does that. He's really restored it back. He's gonna drop it down. He's got a lot of his health back on his board, but. I mean, suddenly it's it, looking at a clean board with Adelito and a virus lead. Uh, five viruses on Pan Man Richard is Adelito here. He's going to do some damage. I think he's going to take the Illa Horse only dropping it down. And Pan Man Richard now has restored his board health back. It's looking a lot better than it was earlier. It wasn't as dicey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is... <laughs> well, he, and, he's, and he's making combos while he does it too. I think that's the real key that sets... Uh... That sets the the good players apart from the or the the good players from the best players. Just the ability to clear the board down and, and maintain board health and safety while still comboing and attacking the opponent all the same. Kanban dropping it down here. He's really turned this around. Not only does he have the virus lead, but he's also got a pretty good board to work with as well. Um, mm. The only issue is that chasm. He is going to block that off. Uh, he is creating some extra layers upon layers. He is signaling for a sweet tea, which is a smart play to really chop that down and destroy the viruses in the process there. Uh, he rains down four pieces of garbage on Adelito's side. I don't know if you saw what happened at the top left of Adelito's board. He put these blue yellows in a very weird position that almost looked like it had to be a misdrop. And and then they cleared into like a four part combo that I have to imagine he did on purpose that I did not see at all. Uh, these guys are just playing on another level here. Yeah, definitely. Ad calling Adelito games and uh, and Influx <laughs> games are one of those things that's really, it's, it's kind of difficult to figure out what they're doing here, but they're definitely looking at it uh, four steps ahead of the average person there but as pan man drops it down he's going to create a three combo over on adelito's side and is maintaining now a double digit now back down to nine viruses now i thought he was having a double digit virus lead over on adelito here he is going to take that fat log dropping it down is pan man richard and now it's 30 to 19 he does have a double digit virus lead now hmm. unfortunately he does have column seven and eight stacked at the top which is not dangerous per se but it does tend to make end games a little trickier and if that's what the game comes down to then that could put him behind but so far he is quite far ahead Adelito has quite a bit of junk stacked up in the his center but uh, it is mostly set up ready and uh, given the right pieces I think he is gonna send it all back Oh, huge combo from Pam and Richard. He has a fat log set up on that bottom portion. If he takes that yellow red there, he does in fact take that, and he's really turned the jets on, on Adelito. Adelito up dangerously high. He needs that blue red to really damage it, but that stun lock is really going to stifle his efforts. And another stun lock here. He can't do anything with that, and that's really just damaging. And another one. Pan Ban Richard with just some fire <laughs> under him. Adelito oh finally God. gets a combo to sort of bring things back to parity somewhat. Um, but Oh, man. Yeah, he, the speed that, that Pan Ban Richard is playing at is uh, probably the best in the room, at least tonight. Because uh, wow. even Adelito was saying so in chat during his games that uh, the speed that he plays at and the, the aggression that and is almost maniacal at times but he makes it happen yeah if, if, if pan man richards can somehow make it a tour he's going to be a force to reckon with absolutely oh, and yeah. so it looks like he looks like he's a man on a mission here uh adelito has dropped some combos down he is definitely out of danger but pan Ben with the umbrella strats i think he's going to try and take one thing down at a time he's going to combo down probably blue at the bottom attack it tackle it from the bottom and just go bottoms up just to clear yeah, everything and, out there and suddenly the, the stacked up columns on seven and eight almost give him an advantage because there's no way garbage can ever drop on those columns again and those are the key columns he needs to get his, his pills into in order to clean this out but Adelito nine viruses to two but a much uh, they're much more densely concentrated and if he can you know get some combos and and clear off the garbage on top uh, if if Richard doesn't get the blues or the reds that he needs then this isn't over he could, he could come back from this yeah, it's looking like it. He's gonna. He does have that umbrella over there. He does not take it. He does take signal with that. I think what he's going to do. Yeah, he's going to drop it down. He just needs four oh, this uh, red, red is gonna be it. Before. Perfect. There you go. That's he got for it. Panman Richard. So they're gonna. They're gonna have to play again. <laughs> Where you have reset the bracket, uh, and these guys are going for another best of five. Wow, that is excellent. That was, what a masterclass uh, effort by Pan Man Richard. And Adelita was no slouch of that game either. I mean, it's just Pan Man Richard just masterfully playing that and just destroying his opponents of, and his end game efforts of his opponents as well. So beautifully done. Yeah, absolutely.
Well, uh, I don't know if they're waiting for me to give the start. Nope, they're just, <laughs> they're just going back into it. And they're getting right back into it here. Adelou and Pam and Richard, this is it. Uh, oh, looks like oh, Pan Ban. Oh, hold on, maybe they're, uh, I don't, it doesn't look like he's actually playing. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, he looks like I'm there. Hold on, we will, uh, give it a moment here. He didn't. Something, uh, I think something's gone wrong here. I'm not sure. Uh. Oh, yeah, it looks like they've stopped the, the match here, so hold on one second. I think we're probably going to restart this. I'm going to see yeah. what's, we're going to see what's going on here. Oh. Audio gets a little screwy or what have you, so. So it appears that... Uh... The uh, the game froze for Panbin Richard before the match even started. Before the the game even <laughs> started up, he it froze and and he lost connection or something like that. But that's okay. It looks like Adelito is okay with that. Uh, he clearly wasn't doing anything, uh, maybe making any moves. <laughs> Pills were just falling in place. So they're gonna restart the game and we'll be back up and running very shortly here. And we're gonna restart game one. Boy, oh boy, we this is it. This is the absolute final match between these two players here. They're both one and one. So the winner of this is going to be the winner of this monthly checkup in August. So that's going to be exciting stuff here. But don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to get right back into it in about a few moments. Oh, yep, they're just setting their levels, and I assume they're just going to start off without a signal or anything like that. Seems good. Uh, guys, well, I mean, we're certainly ready. I, I know I'm ready. I can't, I can't wait to see this. All right, here we go. In it looks like it's gonna be ten. Gonna start it up there. Adley is gonna count it up. Not a ten count. I'm just gonna count it down. Let's see. Come on. Three, <laughs> two, one, and pills. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, Panman finding the first combo, which I I find is a huge um, a huge advantage to get for the most part. I've heard a lot of players talk about this, like Crimson mentions it in uh, a GameScope video about the DRMC. She talks about how her strategy is to always go for the first combo to start to get that early advantage and snowball from there into a win. Um, how do you feel about that? What's your take on, on the, the first combo? How, how important is that to you? Yes. No, but in all seriousness, <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I think I think the first combo is a really crucial part. I mean, even, even if it doesn't really do any sort of damage to your opponent, it still stops them, especially the top board, by about half a second. So you're about half a second faster than what the other person can do. Uh, Pan Man gonna drop everything down with that. But yeah, I think I think the uh, oh there we go, excellent. Just clearing everything up is Pan Man Richard. He gets a sweet T drop with that. He is on fire. 53 to 35. That's the biggest lead we've seen tonight. Yeah, this is huge. He wants this bad. <laughs> and he's going to make another combo here in column 8. And Adeluda's board is going to be messed up by on the, on the first column there. He is going to find another combo set up and another. Uh, but uh, man. Man, you never want to see a, a big vertical spire set up like that get trumped by uh, garbage at the very top. Now he does have the option. Oh, I thought he would under clear there just to take it down. But uh, he's going to leave it as is for now. And we're going to see how that plays out. Yeah, if, if he uh, gets the pills, he might... Well, there's that red-blue clearing up. But if he gets a red-blue to tuck underneath that first column, he can really uh, turn it all into something really useful. We'll see if that pan, how that pans out there. But he's going to drop this down. I think he's really, really holding off on that red-blue. He's going to drop that down. Uh, pan Van Richard, we look on over here. And wow, the gap is north node, and the gap has been closed down here. Here's that red-blue. takes it. Here he goes. Huge three-part combo. Same patience to wait for that. And, and it leaves him in such a great position here. Pan Man playing high, but he got that LEF on top there. It was excellent to see. And once again, things are looking very even all of a sudden between these two. Uh, oh, Pan Man moving to the side gets that sweet T. Excellent vision looking at that pill to see if he can turn that into something even better. I think, yeah, the name of the game at this point is just comboing down, really trying to uh, make sure you're really losing the tempo. The other person's losing their tempo, and it looks like Pam and Richard has gained his tempo back, even though it was uh, lost for a moment there. But as we say that, Adley with a slight lead um, is holding off on that fat log, perhaps, of the red and blue. If he takes that, it's not going to clear up the red. He is going to signal for a blue and yellow, I think. There we go. That's a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Pam 
Man Richards board has so many setups here. Uh, one of them, unfortunately, just getting covered in column two, but he still has more to, to fire off here. Uh, I'm actually really liking his position a little better, especially given what's going on on Adelito's board, but honestly, it can change so suddenly. Uh, he gets it, Adelito gets a huge combo to fire back, so uh, I would say they're, they're roughly neck and neck at this point. Yeah, um, I'm I'm not really too fond of Adelito's eighth column. It's at this point, he's just going to drop things down and hopefully turn it into something. Luckily, he's only got two viruses at the bottom, so it's not really make that much of a difference. But as we take a look over, uh, again, both players are firing combos off. They are ready to fire it down and destroy it. Look at Adelito with that huge drop, sending three pieces of garbage over on Pandan's <laughs> side. And, and, and Pandan responding with a three combo of his own. No, that's a four combo, I believe. Wow. Sadly, not getting a blue T there, uh, but uh, he should clear this hor oh, horizontal but as it does get covered up. He might just play this Red Bull on the other side, and he does, just to take a combo and just to sort of put the brakes on Penban's uh, game here so that he stops getting so much garbage on his board. Wow, and these players just trading punches right there, back and forth there. Even though it is a uh, nine virus game, it doesn't really look like it as much there. Panban gonna tuck that down, creating a little bit of extra maneuverability is Panban Richard here, and he's got a couple of setups ready to fire off if the pills come in the right sequence or that blue yell is gonna help there. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm just feeling a top out win at this point, uh, just given <laughs> the way these have been going and the way that the boards are falling. Uh, it's crazy. I mean, we're playing on medium speed, and, and some of the speeds uh, that we're reaching, just get, by virtue of how long these games are going, is, is wild. Adelito's trying to get that L, yeah, that gets a little bit blocked over here. He doesn't really stifle his abilities to be able to drop things down. I thought he was going to drop that blue red in the side there. He's got other plans with that, though. Let's see how that pans out. He had seven viruses, but with a lot of garbage on top. It's hard to even say he's has an advantage at the moment. Both players with a maxed out side column. Adelita with almost both and totally maxed out. He's gonna try to get this yellow red off to the first column. And no, he'll take the easy combo. Uh, this, yeah. Uh, it's, there we go. There we go, now he'll have, oh, he didn't take the red blue on the side there. Uh, I think he's just more focused on digging these viruses out from underneath all of this other garbage. He'd think he'd rather put his, uh, put his resources towards doing that. And that seems to, be, yeah. uh, seems to be working for him because he's, he's slowly but surely getting there. He's at endgame, so at this point, um, granted that both these players are very similar as far as the virus count goes, he is at endgame, so any sort of stun lock that uh, Pan Man can get on him can really swing the tide in Pan Man's favor. Um, but that drop down into that fourth column that Adlito sent to Pan Man was a whole three seconds down over to there. And Pan Man responds with that with a three second drop, although that is a helpful garbage drop. You don't want to see that. Adelito is coming shockingly close to finishing here. This garbage is going to clear it a virus. Uh, this blue pill should take out the last blue, and then he's got only a yellow, which I imagine he'll clear horizontally to, to win the game. One yellow yeah, piece yeah, is all he yeah. needs. <laughs> That's what he's gonna do there exactly. He just if Pan Man get the right spot uh, spot of garbage there, I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh. If he can, he's gonna be able to do that. And he drops it down. That's gonna stifle and slow him down just a bit, but I don't think it's gonna be enough here. No, that'll be game one to Adelino. Absolutely. Wow. All right. There we go. The next one. Woo, man. GG. Really divergence. Uh, so Pan Man will get the first combo, but Adelino will get a drop T which will get us a little extra garbage. Uh, interesting divergence there at the start of the game. Ooh, and then that blue is really gonna, oh, there we go. Pan Man turning that into nothing to worry about there as he continues to rain down these combos on Adelito's side. Um, Adelito does have setups upon setups ready to go. That yellow's not gonna do too much there, but he's just gonna play the top-down approach, whereas it looks like Pan Man does have horizontals upon horizontals ready to go. If he gets one blue, he can fire it down, and he is gonna take that excellent drop by Pan Man Richard here. Pan Man's board, though, it's uh, it's getting pretty high up there. Uh, luckily, he has uh, setups to clear this stuff away. He's gonna hit. <laughs> he always seems to hold out for the the dangerous combo, and then he'll just get it. It's crazy. Yeah, his his he's dancing very close to the sun, and it's it's paying off for him. I mean, this is 
this isn't i'm not gonna say it's icarus incarnate but this guy man he's he knows how to gamble he knows how to take these risks and it's absolutely just working wonders for him he is pan van he is gonna drop everything down i think he is no he's not gonna go with that i think with that red he could possibly take it out with the sweet tea he is in fact still he's gonna take I mean, that sweet tea down this. he's got adelito's side <laughs> Like that. Jeez, there we go. He could have taken that down with a yellow red that entire time, and he kept using them to build a T to drop into, just taking the risk that he wouldn't get uh, dropped on by garbage and ruin his whole setup. And it worked out, and it paid off for him. He's so fast, he feels he can take these kinds of risks. His playstyle is the epitome of flirting with death, this guy. This is wild. <laughs> you know, that's something I've been wondering, too. Um, not just with Pam and Richard, but is it better to take the gamble with the greedier combos in versus and i don't know if that's the way to do it i mean it might be i mean that's something that i'm not really 100 percent sure on there look at this blue setup by pan man is he gonna get this two blues like, look at yes this. indeed he oh. no he doesn't take it <laughs> wow he is gonna take that fat lot wow what a greedy combo right <laughs> that is greedy that is greedy <laughs> But My he, God! But he consistently goes for these kinds of plays. It's, it's, it's. it's, it's he consistently does. He's gonna does do it this. again. He's gonna do it again. Watch this come over here. He's just he holding out for this yellow, yellow. blue. He is. Oh no! Finally, oh. finally, he does something conservative. No, he's gonna do that there, man. He was holding off on that, man. That was that was. Like you said, he was flirting with death with that one. Unbelievable. <laughs> and that's. I mean, look at look at his play style. Just. High risk, high reward is is Pan Man Richard's style. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Uh, I mean, as far as how effective it is, he did reset the bracket, but in this game, it looks like Adelito, while he's been, while Pan Man's been messing around at the top of the board, Adelito has been making progress, and he's like a solid 11 viruses ahead. He's further down on the board, much better board health. Uh, I'm not going to count Richard out just yet, but uh, oh, he misses good. the fat log. He missed the fat log there, and I don't know if that was by design or if he just was uh, moving the peels down. He's going to get sweet tea out of it, so it's not too bad as he drops down a lot of one. Oh my god. Yeah, what a this consolation. Is insane. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome to see. Panbin doesn't take that yellow. He does take, now, in fact, take it, but I was expecting him to drop everything down. I guess he's got other plans with that. Yeah, this is incredible, and Adelito is, is, as soon as he looked like he was looking good... Oh, that's... Well, uh, it looks like oh. Payman Richards' risks finally caught up with him. He's going to top out. That's going to put Adelito at 2-0, and he's now playing for tournament point here. Yeah, I don't know, like... <laughs> Oh, look at this setup by Pan Ben. Excellent drop into that excellent vision. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Jeez. Set up at the top of the board. These crazy horizontal drops. I won't say I've never seen anyone do it, but he just, like, he never hesitates to take that risk. He's got horizontals on horizontals on horizontals. This is excellent to see. Just spectacular vision from Pan Ben. Looks like he may be having some trouble getting some setups. He'll get a, two double reds here and finally clear a yellow blue double there. Um, but yeah, I mean, all things considered, other than the massive combos they're both dropping on each other, <laughs> even that's pretty much even. At this oh, point. wow. Yeah, I saw Adelito getting that set up with, uh, you know, kind of cascading down vertically upon vertically upon vertically, and that looked really cool to see. Meanwhile, we take a look over here. Pan Ban still in kind of in his beginning portion of his board here, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult. As Adelito's now in that mid game. Yeah, he's definitely in a safe spot here. He's not at risk of topping out, um, barring any insane Pan Ban Richard combos. But uh, I think this is sort of the edge that Adelito's been getting in these in this set at the very least, where his his combos have been getting him progress down the board, and, and whereas Pan Ban Richard is making great combos, but they were leaving garbage behind. He's just sort of treading water at the end of the day. Oh, that was an excellent drop cross from Pan Ban Richard. Meanwhile, creating a little bit of a gap in there. Is he going to take that cross in the fifth column there? Uh, he does, in fact, take that there and drops into three uh, more, sending three pieces of garbage over at Adelito's side. I, I, yeah. it's wow. We're just watching these guys. This is incredible stuff. Uh, this is some high-level stuff. It's difficult to quantify this in real time, you know? You're seeing this, and it's like, oh, wow, that's just, you know... 
these players are shocking sh shocking me with trying to figure out how to quantify it. There's Adlito since four over to Pan Man Richard. Uh, we take a look over there and looks like Adlito has red setups to really slow down. Uh, he is no, I think he was trying to do that and he kind of uh, lag got to him. I think. Yeah, and as we've been as we've been watching Adelita's board, Richard has been slowly taking over the virus count, and in fact has a much healthier looking board. It's 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 always impressive to see like how the sh the the advantage of the game can shift so suddenly and so drastically, just with the, the levels of combos and garbage that these guys are producing. Yeah, this is this is some really cool stuff to see as Panman delivers that down. He had a really uh excellent set of tempo over on Adelito side. Adelito really was stun locked and couldn't do anything here. And again, the name of the game is going to be combos and stun locking. And Pam and Richard has, that's been his uh, success to his road to victory here, has been just the stun locking and really, really strong stun lock game. And he sends three more to Adelito. Look oh, at his yeah. stun lock here. Huge combos in the center. It's and Adelito's starting to stack up. He is going to get a really sweet, I believe that's going to be a quad. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, there just, you go. just as soon as one person stacks up the board against the other, uh, they find some setups to just stack it right back. Oh, that yellow garbage is going to block off the blue horizontal that high up on the board. That could be fatal for Ben and Richard here. Yeah, and he's signaling he needs to get rid of that as soon as possible. He does have a fat log set up here. I don't know if he's going to build up to it. I would probably think he is going to try and at least get some of that to at least reduce the chasm in the center. Oh, that's a good... Ooh, there we go. Look yeah. at that. He's thankfully going to clear that all out, and he's going to get a huge combo for his Nice. Uh, but, uh, oh, Adelito... man, sending four to Adelito. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but he's only two viruses behind, and he has a much cleaner board. He has plenty of opportunity to make some setups happen here. As you can see, as I say that, uh, this might be the end for, for Richard. He's going to have to uh, pull off some of that combo magic that we know he can, but I think it's going to take something pretty extraordinary to make this comeback. Oh, and he's made a little bit of a, a thing on top there to really drop that down. He's going to have to maneuver around that little bit of a misdrop. If, if any sort of garbage comes up, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna find another combo here. He's gonna try to get this blue horizontal out of the center of the board so he can start making more progress down. Uh, I, he's, he's gonna find a combo on the left instead. Uh, meanwhile, Adelito is looking clean. If he gets these yellows out of seven, now he can uh, start clearing out column eight. And then the only virus that's really in any sort of uh, contention for being blocked off is that yellow at the very bottom of column seven. Meanwhile, man, has it all umbrella over the top there, so he just needs to do some quick maneuvering to get that and get to the end part there, as uh, that garbage is not helpful in hand in. If, if he can pull off a stun lock like he did in the semifinals, then maybe, maybe we've got something here. Uh, some timely garbage in the right spot. That yellow is going to be helpful in the seven to block Excellent. off the blue clear. That's exactly what he needs, but he's so high up on the board, and as we've been going for quite some time here, his drop speed is getting faster and faster. Uh, so he's going to have to play perfectly here. Look at that. He's... And it looks oh, like he, he did might drop be. That a little bit. <laughs> he's now got a red L set up here that he's going to get, uh, but the blues are gone now for Adelito. He just needs a red, and then there's one virus left between him and the championship. Oh, there he goes. Look at that big drop from Pan Ban. He's still holding on to it there. It's a three, it's a six virus uh, game between them, but it's going to be tough there. And this red blitz is not what he wants oh to see. Oh my goodness, what is this combo from Adelito? A quad to Pan Ban Richard. Wow. He's left this red clear hanging just to make more combos and send more garbage. But Pan Ban Richard is some still, magic over there too. He's still making it happen. I feel like at this point he's just trying to put on a show for everybody. Or maybe he's just concerned with uncovering this yellow because it's now clear. He can now put the red here for a combo and now he's one yellow away. Good prioritization from oh, Adelito. The and does not cover the that set there. He needs a combo now, but that's too late. That's oh, going to be too it. Late. Adelito is going to take it 3-0 in the bracket reset. What a comeback. Wow. And Adelito is your August monthly checkup champion.